Hi guys, I just wanted to do a real quick, just pros and cons of the Lenovo T450 laptop. Um, so I guess we'll start with the pros. Um, so for one, it has a mini display port. Some might find that a con, but I kind of really like it. It's very small. I can hook it up to, you know, uh, HD quality, real quick to a monitor. It does, it's actually not very um, uh, glossy or, or, or the glare doesn't affect the screen too much because it's really designed for like, documents or it's not really meant for videos it's really meant for documents and for working um, so that's kind of a plus um, but it's really not again it's not meant for games or for videos or for you know editing like that uh, it has two batteries which is pretty cool so it has a pretty pretty good battery life um, i've gotten up to four four and a half hours of battery life on this um, while watching a movie i just lowered the settings all the way down um, it has vga which for the tech is great uh, i'm a techie so i love it it has three USB. You can use it with a dock, um, so it's kind of like the HP laptop. That's very, very handy. Um, you can adjust the volume very easily with it. Uh, here, let me just turn that guy back on there. Um, so yeah, you can adjust the volume very quickly. Uh, you have to use the, uh, you know, you just press the keyboard. You don't have to press the control and then the keyboard, so that's very convenient. It's got biometrics, um, so you can use your fingerprint. I like the Intel Core i5. I used to be an AMD guy, but I'm more Intel now these days. Um, also, you have the old school mouse over here. So, you know, if your touchpad fails, you can use that. That's, that's again, that's that can come in handy. Um, also, you got the single audio jack on the side. And that's pretty much all I would say. I mean, the keyboard is pretty comfortable. It's not great, um, but that's pretty much all the pros. Um, then the cons, I would say, again, you know, going back to the video, it's really not meant for videos or for gaming. It's just, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's got kind of like a gloss over it, so it's not the, the best. I find it a little bit slow, honestly. So it's got 8 gigs of RAM, but I just, I don't know, I just, I don't really use games on this computer. I use it for more for work, and it's just slow. I'm sorry. Um, it has 8 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, you got your dual core processor on there. I got, you know, your typical Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all that. Um, I hate the new touchpads. Um, this whole Apple feel. Uh, I'm a PC, PC guy. That's why I buy PC. Um, no keyboard light. I don't know why they didn't have a keyboard light or I could be missing it. I don't know. I've looked all around. I've searched the internet for the T450 model. I cannot find it anywhere. Um, and then... You know, I, I hate how I can't access the hardware. I mean, before with the old ones, you used to be able to, you know, swap out the, the freaking hard drive or, you know, the battery. I mean, the batteries, yeah, you can replace that really easily. Um, the RAM, you have to remove the whole entire bottom unit to get to any of the hardware. Um, and then, you know, for games, you could run StarCraft 2, Company of Heroes 2, um, you know, maybe Diablo three i haven't tested it but i mean games like that but first person no way no how um it's you know your typical lenovo laptop these days um i don't know they used to be kind of more like a workhorse and now i kind of find like they're just kind of like your standard whatever laptop so i mean you can make your own decisions but those were the quick pros and those are the quick cons so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks